Amazon is planning to spend $100 billion in capital expenditures this year, driven by AI investments. Following Microsoft, which forecasts $80 billion in spending this year, Alphabet's $75 billion, and Meta's plans $65 billion. Shares of AMZ, and they are dipping this morning after its results. Our very own Dan Howley, he joins us now with more. Dan, Amazon saying it still can't keep up with AI demand. What do you make of this? Yeah, Brad, this is uh, kind of just part and parcel of what we've seen through earnings so far. Uh, the last big tech name that we're waiting for is NVIDIA, and they'll report later this month. Uh, and based on what we've heard from Microsoft, Google, Meta, uh, and now Amazon, it could be a good quarter, well, should be a good quarter for NVIDIA uh, with the amount of spending that these companies are uh, going to launch into. So as you said, Amazon saying that they're going to have a annualized run rate of about 26 billion when it comes to CapEx. Uh, so that comes out to about $105 billion that they'll be spending. Uh, CEO Andy Jassy basically saying that the, the vast majority of that is going towards AI and AWS. Uh, they can't keep up with, with uh, demand, their capacity constrained at this point. This, the same song and dance we heard from, from Microsoft and from Google uh, basically saying, look, we, we would have seen better cloud growth. Uh, we probably would have exceeded or met at least expectations that Wall Street had on revenue, but we simply couldn't. We just don't have the, the means to do so at this point. And so uh, when speaking on the, the earnings call last night, uh, Amazon had basically said, look, it's it's a matter of trying to get chips from third parties uh, and, and some in-between technologies that we need, uh, and they just don't have those at the moment. And so this $105 billion roughly build out that they're going to have this year, which is up, by the way, from $75 billion last year, uh, is is hopefully what Amazon sees as the answer. And so, you know, uh, as, as the prior guest was just saying, you know, Google uh, did very well with their earnings as far as cloud revenue goes and, and growth goes. Microsoft continues to grow uh, on the cloud side. Amazon continues to grow on the cloud side, despite being the largest cloud player out there. It's just when it comes to AI, they're just not able to keep up with, with demand. And so I think the, the bigger uh, question goes to, okay, so we're, we're seeing these kind of capabilities. When it comes to other companies uh, like your Microsofts, like your your Googles, uh, like, like your Salesforces, um, when it comes to the applications, what are they seeing as far as business uses? So if there's all this demand, does that mean then uh, for, for the, the technology itself, does that mean then that the applications are also taking off? So we have to see how that balances out in the, the quarters to come. But, uh, you know, I, I mean, Amazon did do uh, relatively well for the quarter. Uh, the issue, I think, uh, that uh, Wall Street took initially, uh, because we didn't find out about guidance until the actual earnings call, uh, was the shortfall on Q1 revenue. They're expected uh, to come in between 151 billion and 155 billion mm. uh, for the current quarter, Q1. Analysts were looking for 158 billion. So obviously a, a big miss there. Uh, basically, Amazon said in a statement that uh, it's looking at about 2.5 billion dollars uh, in uh, foreign exchange uh, headwinds. And so that that's kind of where where that comes from. But you know, it's it it was a good quarter for Amazon. The outlook not uh, nearly what what analysts had been hoping for. That spending is wild. Yeah, certainly. And, and Dan, I think you hit the nail. It was so important to point out just the FX headwind there. And it, it looks like that's really the big driver here of this under of this underwhelming outlook versus any sort of concerns about the fundamentals maybe of the business too. So re reinforcing some of that bullish thesis right now on Amazon. All right, Dan, thanks so much.